Do you think the French are considered rude? Is this a stereotype or not? We're gonna find out right now. Salut, my name is Rochelle DeMeo, your native French instructor from Beltair Academy. Meeting so many people from all over the world, sometimes I hear, hey, the French are kind of rude. And obviously, I'm not gonna lie, being a French native, it does ruffle my feathers a tiny bit, but also being American, I'm thinking, I can see why that could be said. So let's look at why people may think that the French are rude. Excuse-moi, ce serait pour savoir. Bonjour. Oui, ce serait pour savoir. Bonjour. First of all, it's probably one number one the quantity of tourists that visit France as a country, because France is the most visited country in the world. And so imagine if your country, wherever you're from, was constantly bombarded with all these different tourists that don't necessarily want to integrate into the culture or try to even speak a word of the language and they just kind of come in and think that they're the king and expect to be served. Okay. And then on the left? Yes. Yeah. It's fantastic. So, uh, sure. <laughs> how, how do I get there? Get there? Yeah, to, to go. Go to Notre Dame for Yes. Why? Lovely. Thank you. Bye. How do you feel about that? So that's probably one reason the French may be considered to be rude. The second thing is if you're in a big city. Moi je vous dis la vérité, même Paris on connaît pas. Attends, t'es parisien et tu connais même pas Paris. I'm sorry, but New Yorkers, I love you guys, but New York can also be considered to be kind of rude. Well, cities like Paris that have more people that visit Paris alone than the entire population of France and other large cities are going to have more people, more tourists visiting the magnificent different monuments and museums and whatnot there. And that's obviously going to be, you know, a little bit of a different experience if you're in a big city versus when you're from my hood, little village, 3,000 inhabitants. Les gars, j'ai déjà pris le métro parisien. Par quoi? Parisien. You show sure? <laughs> that's where I grew up. And between Lima Montpellier, and it's definitely a different vibe and you get a different experience when you're in little villages. Actually, I would say it's almost the opposite when you're in a little village because they're so happy to have tourists come and visit. They're not gonna be really rude for the most part. So obviously location is huge, meaning that you're gonna have a different experience if you're in the north of France or in the east, west, or south of France. And to the south of France, we are known to be very hospitable, let's put it that way. We like to welcome people, maybe it's the you know, the fact that all of the southern countries in Europe, whether it's Italy, France, um, Spain, or Portugal, were kind of a warmer climate, warmer climate, warmer people, I don't know. But we're definitely known to be more hospitable and warm and technically less rude. Does that mean the Parisians are rude? I'm not saying that. Although, in the few clips that you're seeing, they have this reputation, even from people down south, to be somewhat rude. Another point you want to consider is the culture. The French are known to be way more direct than certain other countries. I actually had a huge culture shock when I moved from France, not necessarily to the East Coast where I first moved in the United States, but when I moved to California and thought, whoa, is everybody really a fake or what? Because I felt like people were so superficial, whereas in France, overall, if I'm again generalizing, people are more direct. So if you want to hear the truth, Obviously, it depends on the person, but they're going to be more direct in how they say things. So they don't feel like they need to butter you up or that they need to have this great customer service, which we'll talk about in a different video, but they are just more direct. But it's also a good thing because when you want to get a straight answer, you can, right? So culturally, it's just a different approach, which sometimes definitely comes across rude. I don't like that either. Trust me, especially when you're like, hey, dude, I don't even know you. I'm just saying hi or hey, you know, excuse me. like you could you know, have a little class, so to speak, and sometimes you don't always have that approach. Before we move on to this next tip, I wanna let you know that I'm gonna be providing towards the end of the video a bonus tip on how you can identify if a person may come across rude and what you can do about it. So, is it a stereotype or is it the truth? Hmm. So culturally, again, generalizing, in the French culture, think of it kind of as a bubble. And so everybody's in their bubble with their circle of friends and their family and their little environment. 
And when they meet a person, at first they're like, hey, you're not kind of in my bubble. So they may have what may appear to be a rude approach because they're gonna use that woo form, you know, the polite form to talk to you. So it's already, it's polite, but it's also putting that distance between you, so to speak. And so that culturally is important to know is that it is based a lot on the fact that they don't know you. And so they're just gonna be like, hey, I don't really know you, so whatever. And that can come across as rude, again, more importantly when you're in a bigger city. But once you break that bubble, once you become friends with some of these rude French people, <laughs> well, what happens is you're gonna discover that they're super warm, they're super friendly. You, I have found some of the most loyal, faithful friends that I've had since childhood that were French. And it's been actually a lot harder for me to make these long-term friendships in California, whereas in France, it's like, once you're in that bubble, you're in, you know what I mean? It's like, once you're in, you're in, it's awesome. And ways that you can know this, that they'll invite you to their house, you're gonna see how generous they are. They're the first to be the most affectionate, um, especially in the south of France, giving the bees, I mean, come on. Giving the bees alone is one of those very close things that you do, because you're touching the skin of a person. It's not just like a hug, which can be really close too, but like, you're touching the skin of a person. So you know that like when you break into that French bubble, so to speak, and you make a friend, they're gonna introduce you to all these other friends, then you're part of all these different little bubbles, if you wanna call it that, like that, and you're gonna discover that they're actually not rude at all. They will serve you on hand and foot most of the time if you're in that bubble. So you wanna break in that bubble. By the way, if you're getting value from watching this video, I encourage you to check out this video that I did called Why the French Stink. Again, is it a myth? Is it, a myth? Is it not a myth? and the history behind this possible stereotype. So when you're looking at, hey, are the French rude, just remember that it's not so much about their image, about their facade, it's more about getting to know them. And so you wanna consider where you are, obviously, but also other factors, like maybe they are in a rush, they're going to work. That's why we say, boulot, dodo, metro, in whatever order. <laughs> but basically that a lot of people, they um, are working, they're taking the metro, they're going to sleep, and that is their life. So if, if they're in a big city, they're rushing, you know, maybe tourists are like bugging them, they're trying to get to work, and then, you know, they have all these different, um, uh, come on. they may have all these strikes or whatever, and they're just like, hey, I'm trying to get on to work, and somebody's disturbing me, how do you feel? How would you feel about that? So that's when they may come across rude. So I promised you a bonus point, and I wanna give that bonus point to you. It really does depend on where you are in France, that's huge, and your relationship with that person. So look at where you are in France, look at the culture, just take a minute to observe, are they more warm? Are they kind of more cold, just generally in the area you may be visiting or exploring? Second thing is look at your relationship with that person. Is it more like, you know, you're at, I don't know, at the post office, you don't know the person, like they, they don't, they're, they may come across or they may have had a really crappy day. But you know, if you're close to them or you get to know them, then that's gonna change. So how would you possibly get to know French people? Well, obviously making contact is important. Maybe a, a, you know, trying to find something that you have in common with them. Saying hi, being, you know, smiling. And I, definitely there are like websites even where you can find pen pals. I mean, I connect all my students at Belter Academy to different schools in France and different pen pals so that they can already have a relationship with that person. But what you really wanna do is get to know people and you maybe invite them you know, to the restaurant or just talk to them, find something that you can do with them. In France, they are so community-based that you will notice that a lot of things are, doing, are done in groups of friends, groups of different people. So once you get to know somebody that thinks that you're cool, because I know you are, well, they're gonna introduce you to their circle of friends and then you'll see that they are not rude at all. So what do you think? I would be curious what your experience has been with French people, whether you've traveled there, seen them on shows, movies, or whatever it is, please comment below. Let me know what your experience has been with French people, what you think. Si vous êtes français, ne me tuez pas, je vous défends parce que je suis française moi aussi, donc je vous défends à 100%. Je pense pas du tout qu'on est mal poli, au contraire. Mais bon, il faut bien qu'on essaie de casser, de briser ce stéréotype. Bien, on est bien d'accord, hein. Entre nous, il faut bien qu'on se défende un petit peu. <rire> ok, à bientôt les amis. See you guys soon.